Glory to God. Let's go to John chapter 6, verse 53 to 58. John chapter 6, I will be reading from Amplified Version. John chapter 6, 53 to 58. Amen. And Jesus said to them, I assured you and most solemnly said to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, unless you believe in me and as Savior and believe in the saving power of my blood, which is shed for you, you do not have life in yourself. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood believes in me. Accept, accept me as Savior, as eternal life. That is, now possesses it. And I will raise him up from the dead on the last day. My flesh is true spiritual food. And my blood is true spiritual drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, believe in me, accepts me as Savior. Remain in me, and I leaves, remain in me, and I the same way remain in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. Even so, the one who feeds on me, believes in me, accept me as Savior, we also live because I live. This is the bread which came down out of heaven. It is not like the manna that your fathers ate and they were eventually died. The one who eats this bread believes in me, accept me as the Savior, we live forever we live forever today i want to share with you go over this again with you the purposes of the lord supper why do we take the lord supper why do we take the bread and the cup now number one purpose is to look backward we look backward to remember his death the sacrifice of Christ at the cross on Calvary. The price that he paid for our redemption. So before we partake of the bread or of the cup, we look backward. We have to remember what Jesus did for us on the cross. We have to remember his death on the cross. We have to remember the seven places where he shed his blood on the cross. So the first thing we do, we look backward. We look at the suffering of Christ, the death of Christ, the blood that he shed for on Calvary for all of us. In Luke twenty-two nineteen, remember number one, to look backward. Luke twenty two nineteen. 19. He said, These do in remembrance of me. So before we party, we got to look backward so we can remember all that Christ did for us on the cross. Number two, we look upward. We look upward and we thank God. We bless God and offer thanksgiving to the Most High God for sending sacrificial lamb of God without blemish. Amen. So we look backward, we look upward, we thank God for sending Jesus Christ, we thank God for allowing him to die on the cross because Jesus came and died willingly. Hallelujah. They did not kill him. They couldn't kill him. Amen. Jesus told them, I am the resurrection and the life. How can you kill life? They did not kill him. The Bible says he has the power to lay it down and he has the power to pick it back up. Hallelujah. So we got to look up for and thank God and bless God. Offer thanksgiving to God, to the Most High God for sending sacrificial lamb of God. Luke twenty-two nineteen. 
Matthew 26, 7, 27. Luke 22, 19. Matthew 26, 27. He took the bread and gave thanks. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. So as I said, the first one, we look backward. The second one, we look upward. Why are we looking upward? To thank God for sending the Lamb of God. Thirdly, we look inward. We never partake until we follow all these five steps. Backward, upward, and the third one, we need to look inward. To examine ourselves, to confess every unconfessed sin, and to amend our ways before the Lord. That's the third leg. Inward, backward, upward, inward. We got to examine ourselves. We are not examining anybody else, but we must examine ourselves to confess all unconfessed sins. And to amend our way before the Lord. First John 1 9. He said, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we look backward, to look backward, to look upward, and to look inward. Number three. Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 28 first. 1 Corinthians 11, 28 said, Let a man examine himself. And so, let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. You will see, we have to examine ourselves before we do what? We eat of the bread and we drink of the cup. And before we examine ourselves, we have to first of all look backward. Then secondly, we look Upward and thirdly, we look where inward. That's number three. Then number four, to look around, to look around, never partake of communion without following these steps. And that's the reason why we partake the bread and the cup. We symbolize the spiritual food and the spiritual drink. So number four, to look around, to see ourselves and the fellow believer as one body, one bread in Christ Jesus. To, 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 we cannot partake the bread and the cup with malice. We have to forgive everyone around us before we partake. We have to see every believer Every believer around us as one body, one flesh in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have to, ex uh, number three, we examine. And number four, we look around. Do we have anything against anyone? We have to forgive them. Because Jesus forgave you. Because Jesus forgave us, we have to forgive others. Blessed in the name of the Lord. We can see that. 1 Corinthians 5, 8. 1 Corinthians 5, 8. And 1 Corinthians 10, 16 and 17. When we partake of the bread and of the cup, there should be no malice. We shouldn't have anyone in our heart. We have to forgive everyone around us. That is the fourth step. The fifth step. The Bible says, the, the fifth step, we look forward. We look forward to expect the Lord's return. We look forward to expect the Lord's return by keeping ourselves in the faith and dedicating our life to the will of God. Showing forth the Lord's death till he is come. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians 11.26. He said, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he come. So the fifth one, the fifth purpose is that we are looking forward. We are looking forward to return for Jesus' return. Blessed is the name of the Lord. So we have five purposes. Number one, look backward. Number two, look upward. 
Number three, look inward. Number four, we look around. And number five, we look forward. We look forward for its return. Can I repeat that? Number one, we look backward. Number two, we look upward. Number three, we look inward. Number four, we look around. And number five, we look forward to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless God. Now let's go to the principles of the Lord's Supper. Now we have five purposes of the Lord's Supper. Now we have three principles of the Lord's Supper. Now, number one, any day we can partake of the bread and of the cup. We can take communion any day of the week. We can do it every day and we can do it weekly. We can see this. Acts 2.46 They partake of the bread and the cup daily. The Bible said they went from house to house. That was the early church. The early church do it every day. Every day they do it in their house. Not even, you don't have to only do it in the synagogue. You don't have to do it only in the church. We can partake with our family in our home. The Acts 2 for the sea, it said they go from house to house breaking bread. Glory to God. And Acts 27, you, they do it weekly. The Bible says at the first day of the week. The first day of the week is on a Sunday and they partake of the Lord's Supper weekly. So any day, second principle, any place. It could be taken in any place where believers are gathered, in the church or in our private home. We can partake of this in our private home. We do it at the church when we gather and also we can do it at home with our family. Right now, today, we're going to partake together. We can all sit down, gather your family, glory to God, your children, everybody sit together and partake of the bread and partake of the cup, but never rush into it. We don't rush when we partake of the spiritual food and spiritual drink so that we don't bring condemnation to ourselves. Amen? So when we sit with our bread and with our cup, the first thing, we look backward to remember, remember the suffering of Christ. Remember his death on the cross. Remember the places he shed his blood. He shed his blood, number one, in the garden of Gethsemane. He shed his blood right there for our willpower. Glory to God. He also shed bruises. Remember the bruises on his body. Remember the nail that went into his hand. He was driven into his hands, both hands. Remember the nail that went through his leg. Glory to God. We got to look back. Especially the time that we are in. We got to go back to the cross. We got to look back to the cross. It's only the cross that can save us. It's only the cross that can deliver us. Without the cross, we are nobody. Hallelujah. Without the cross, we are condemned. So we got to look back. And that's why I'm punching you back to the cross. I'm punching you back to the death of Christ. I'm punching you back to how Jesus suffered on the cross. We need the cross. We got to remember the cross. It's only the cross that can save us. It's only the cross that can deliver us. We got to look back. The blood that is shared. There's power in his blood. His blood protects us. Hallelujah. We got to look back. We got to look back. I assure you, if you follow this process, oh, hallelujah, God will protect you. God will heal you. God will deliver you. Because Jesus said, you should do this in remembrance of him. When you remember him, he will remember you. When you remember him, he will deliver you. When you remember him, he will heal you. He will set you free. He will protect you. He will cover you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We have to remember. Hallelujah. So the principle, number one, any day. Number two, any place. We can partake at church when we gather. Acts 2, 41. They partake in the synagogue, in the church. 
We can partake in the private home. Acts 2 46. They go to house to house and they partake of the bread and of the cup. Number three, anytime. It could be taken at any time, morning, noon, evening, at night, at midnight, anytime. We can remember the cross. Anytime we can thank God. Anytime we can examine ourselves. Anytime we can look around and see who we have hurt with. Who do we have problem with? Who do we need to forgive? Who do we need to release from our heart? And anytime we can look upward, I mean forward to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the principle, any day, any place, any time. Can we say that? Any day, any place, any time. The purposes, we did it for five purposes. Number one, backward, to look backward, to look upward, to look inward, to look around, and to look forward. As we partake, then we partake of the bread, then we partake of the cup. Listen to me today. If you do it right, if you don't rush, you do, you follow those steps. The first one, the purpose, backward, upward, inward, around. And forward, you will receive an impartation. They have impartation when we partake of the Lord's Supper. They are provision in the bread and provision in the cup because it is spiritual food. You cannot take spiritual food and don't receive anything from it, or you cannot take the, 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 the uh, spiritual drink and don't receive anything from it. But the reason why we don't receive it, because we rush to it. And that's what the Bible says, wait for one another. Tarry. King James used the word tarry. Wait for one another. Don't rush. Sit down. Gather your family. Wait for everybody. Let's sit down. Don't rush to it. Just follow the purpose, the step that I've just taught now. You will see every time you partake of the bread and of the cup, you will receive an impartation. There's a provision in the Lord's Supper. Amen. Can we talk about the provision? Yeah. Yes. Number one. As you partake of the Lord's Supper, in faith, we will partake it in faith. Everything that we do as Christian, as believer, is done by faith. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. It says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So when you partake even today, and when you do it on your own, partake in faith. When you partake in faith, and you don't rush to it, you follow the steps that I give you, backward to look backward, upward, inward, around, and forward. You will see there's an impartation. There's some certain impartation that are expected in the power of his flesh. And in the power of his bread. So when you partake, don't just partake that you are eating an ordinary bread. You are eating spiritual food. Don't partake as if you are drinking just a drink. This is spiritual drink. So when you eat spiritual food and you drink spiritual drink, you should expect spiritual impartation. Glory be to God. Glory to God in the highest. And I'm trusting God that as you are watching me, as you are viewing and listening, and when we partake of the bread and of the cup, you will receive an impartation today. Even healing, even deliverance, even miracle, you will receive it. As I begin to teach on the provisions in the Lord's Supper. Now, number one, I have ten Provision that I'm going to share with you. Receive it by faith. Trust God to receive an impartation today. And it's going to happen. God is everywhere. Doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter where I am. I'm not the one doing the miracle. He is the one doing the miracle. I am limited. He is not limited. He is everywhere. He's omnipresent. 
is everywhere. It's in your house right now. It's in your room right now. Wherever you're viewing, it's right there. Glory to God. God is everywhere and God is going to manifest himself to you unless I'm not speaking the truth. If I'm speaking the truth and I'm teaching the word of God, you will receive today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, number one, power over sin and over bad habit. There's some impartation that receive. We receive power. In other words, willpower is given to us. Amen. Willpower is given to us when we partake of the bread and when we partake of the cup. So we can say no to sin and we can say no to bad habit. Remember, I said you have to look backward. The first place Jesus shed his blood, he shed his blood in the garden of Gethsemane. He shed his blood in the garden of Gethsemane. Do you know why he shed his blood? Jesus did not shed his blood for nothing. He shed his blood for a purpose. Glory to God. He shed his blood in the garden of Gethsemane so he can restore back our willpower. Because in another garden, Adam and Eve lost our willpower. But in the garden of Gethsemane, Jesus shed his blood. He paid the price that is required for our willpower. Hallelujah. That's why we have power over sin. Power over bad habit. I have our willpower has been restored. Our willpower is increased. Then we can say no to sin and no to bad habit in the mighty name of Jesus. Even somebody today, you will receive that power to say no to that bad habit. That means deliverance will come to, do, to you today. Deliverance from sin. Because we have the power has been restored to us to overcome. Glory to God. Number two, Zechariah 9, 11 and 12. Number two, Zechariah 9, 11 and, tw and 12. As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoner free from the waterless pit. Return to the stronghold, you prisoner of hope. Even today, I declare that I will restore double to you. As we partake of the bread and of the cup, because of the covenant that we have with Christ, even the bread and the cup is a sign of covenant. When we partake, we are renewing our covenant daily, that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And we have a blood covenant. When you read Matthew 26, 28, Matthew 26, 28, Jesus said, this is the blood of the new covenant. This is what? The blood of the new covenant. We have covenant with him, and because of the covenant that we have with him, we have freedom from spiritual imprisonment. Freedom from what? From spiritual imprisonment. If you feel that you are in prison, or you know you are in bondage, or in prison, as to partake the, today, the, the, blood, the, the, the bread and of the cup, in the blood of Jesus, because of that covenantal relationship, you will be set free. Bondage will be broken today in the name of Jesus. And knowing that I know that I know that I know that God is going to do it today. Because that's one of the reasons. Because of a covenant with Christ Jesus. There shall be freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom from spiritual imprisonment. You will be released and be delivered today by the power of Almighty God. Because of your covenant. Because of the blood of your covenant with Christ Jesus. Because you partake of the Lord's Supper. Those are the provisions. One of the provisions in the blood of Jesus. In the power of the blood that the devil does not have dominion over you because you belong to God and you have covenant to, with God. You are covenanter children of God. Somebody better shout amen. Somebody better shout hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because of your covenant, because you are saved, because you believe in Jesus and you partake of the bread and of the cup. Freedom from every spiritual imprisonment. 
Somebody give God glory. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Freedom is today. Today is the day of your liberation. Today is the day of your freedom. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because you partake of the bread and of the cup. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because there's power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody better shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody better shout I am free. Hallelujah. I am delivered. Yes. Because of the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus. There's impartation. You're going to receive an impartation. Empowerment. Yes. And you will be set free yes. from any yes. form yes. of bondage. Oh, Somebody God. bless God. So freedom from spiritual imprisonment. Number three. We will see this in John. We will see this in John 6, 53, 54. Number three. He said, Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I said to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man. See that? Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. You have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Number three, life impartation. Life impartation. In other words, you receive resurrection power of God. Life impartation. When you partake of the bread and you partake of the drink, that means you belong to Jesus. Jesus died and resurrected. He's still alive. Because you are in him, because you believe in him, you also will live forever. Glory be to God. There's a life impartation. If, if, if you die, you just move from one body to another. You move from the little body to a bigger body. You move to you move from corruptible to incorruptible body. You move to glorious body. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. When you partake of the cup and you partake of the drink that uh, of, the, of, of his blood, that means you belong to him. That means you live for forever. Resurrection power is given. Life impartation. Glory to God. Let's go to number four. Number four, let's go to John 6, 56. John 6, 56. Jesus said, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, abide in me, and I in him. He who what? Drink, eat my bread, drink my blood, abide in me, and I in him. How oh, I love this. He who eats, not for everybody. Not for everybody. He who eats, and he who drinks, because when you eat, the flesh of the Son of God. You are eating spiritual food. When you drink the blood of the Son of God, you are drinking spiritual drink. That means death will not have, cannot have dominion over you. That means death cannot have dominion over you. That means God, Jesus, has giving you a power, hallelujah, is in you, that means you, 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 you have power of God, you have life of God, Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, yes. number four, power for divine union, power for divine union, Jesus said, he who eats my flesh and drink my blood, abide in me, and I in him, that means there's a union between you and God, that means you are not alone. That means God is with you. Jesus is with you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So there's a divine union, unbroken presence of God. He said, I am, you are in me, and I in Sorry. Yes. So number four, power for divine union. Power for divine union. Let's go straight to number five. Also, John chapter 6, verse 57. John chapter 6, verse 57. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, 
So he who feeds, please underline that, he who feeds on me will live because I live. He who feeds on me, he who feeds on me will live because I live. He who feeds on me, he who feeds on me. So number five, spiritual blood transfusion. Spiritual blood transfusion. He said, he who feeds on me live because I live. So in other words, as you partake of the cup, it is the blood of Jesus. So that means you are drinking the blood of Jesus. is going straight into your vein. Glory to God. I can say that you now have the DNA of Jesus. Glory to God. DNA of Jesus. So it is spiritual blood transfusion. Spiritual blood transfusion. Because as you feed on him and you drink his blood, glory to God, you have Jesus DNA, overcoming DNA, victorious DNA, glory to God. And I prophesy today, even as you drink it, if you have high blood pressure, I pray as you drink the cup, it's going straight into your vein, it's going straight into your bloodstream, and you're going to purify your blood. You, your blood pressure that is high will become normal. If your blood pressure is low, it will come and become normal. Diabetes will go. Hallelujah. Because the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus is going through your vein. Everlasting blood, eternal blood, glory to God, divine blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody better bless God. Hallelujah. Those are the impartation that we receive when we take the cup. When we take the cup, this is the blood of Jesus. Don't look at it. It's an ordinary drink. But this in the spirit realm, it is the blood of Jesus Christ. It's blood transfusion. If you have high blood pressure, I want you to drink it by faith and expect to receive healing and expect to receive deliverance in the name of Oh, but Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We got to drink by faith. We got to eat it by faith. And we receive the provision in the Lord's Supper. I believe it. And it's going to happen today in Jesus' mighty name. And that's what the Bible says. He who feeds on me will live because I live. Spiritual blood transfusion. As we partake of the cup today, if you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, or any blood disease, I'm telling you, my faith, believe it, any blood disease, when you partake of this, in the name that is above every name, Jesus' blood will begin to flow in your vein and purify your vein in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this in the name of the Lord. It will go through your vein and begin to purify because this is spiritual drink. Hallelujah. And there will be an impartation. Jesus. There's provision in the blood of Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. Number six. This is powerful. Let's go to number six. Oh, I love this. I love this. Let's go to Luke. I, I want you to open your Bible with me. Let's go to Luke 24, tarry. To tarry one. I want you to... Open your Bible with me. Number six. Almost finished. Number six. Luke 24, 30. Luke 24. Luke 24, 30. He said, Now we came to pass as he sat at the table with them. Now, I'm going to pause here. This is Jesus after resurrection. After resurrection, Jesus went to meet with the disciples. And the disciples were sitting, and Jesus went there, and he sat with them. When he sat with them, they did not recognize him. They didn't know who he was. He said, and it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, he took bread, blessed it, 
broke it and gave it to them. This is Jesus, but they didn't know it was Jesus. Because remember, after resurrection, Jesus had a different body. He didn't have the same body. He has it was a glorious body. So when he came to them, in order for you to recognize him, you have to be able to see in the spirit. You must have the gift of revelation knowledge to see and to know who he was. So he sat with them. He took the bed and Jesus knew that they didn't know who he was. Oh, glory to God. But he wanted to impart divine revelational knowledge to them. Yes, sir. So he took the bread. He didn't even give them the, the cup. They didn't partake of the cup because bread has its own power. His flesh has its own power. And his blood also has its own power. Wow. Most of the thing for his blood is for cleansing. His blood is for cleansing. Are you hearing me? And life is in the blood. So he died for our redemption. But now, they were sitting and Jesus gave them the bread. He broke it. He blessed it. He gave it to them. And after he gave it to them, their eyes were open. Their eyes were open. Not that they were blind. They were not blind. But they couldn't see in the realm of the spirit. They don't have the gift of vision. So the moment they ate the bread, see what happened. Their eyes were open and they knew it was him. They knew it was him when. They knew it was him after they, they took the bread. After they took the bread. Jesus blessed it. He broke it. He gave it to them. They didn't know. They were just looking. But the moment they ate the bread, guess what happened? Veil was lifted. They begin to see in another dimension. And they recognize it was Jesus. Guess what happened? Jesus just vanished from their sight. Number six. Divine revelational knowledge of God. If you are trusting God for your eye, your spiritual eyes to be open. The flesh of Jesus. Mm. No, no, Jesus. Lift any veil that been blocking your spiritual eyes. They didn't know it was him. Until they ate the bread. Jesus. And their eyes were open. No, 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 no. As we partake of the bread. The body, the flesh of Jesus today. Your eyes, your spiritual eyes be open. Even the Lord is telling me now that some people, that it's so foggy, you can't see, see clearly. You can't see, like you see vision. Sometimes you dream, your dream, you, it's not clear. Or you can't even see vision. As you partake of the bread today. Hallelujah. The flesh of Jesus. The body of Jesus. Jesus will impart divine revelational knowledge. Hallelujah. They didn't know he was Jesus. Jesus was in front of them. They were looking at him, but they cannot see the glorious body. They didn't recognize him in the glorious body because they were not in the spirit. They don't have the gift. But the moment they hit the bread, he broke it. He gave it to them. And they, whoa, their eyes open. And the Bible says, Jesus vanished. It disappeared in front of them. Your spiritual eyes will be open today. As we partake of this bread, the flesh of Jesus, because we're going to do it right. We're going to take our time. We're going to look backward. We're going to look upward. We're going to look inward. We're going to look around. And we're going to look forward. If we do it that way with me today, Oh, some of you, your eyes is going to open. You begin to receive revelation from God. Revelation knowledge will be given to you. Hallelujah. Some things that you don't know, you begin to know it by the power of revelation. When you eat the bread, it was after the bread. After they took the bread, their eyes open. And Jesus said, that's what I want to do. Your spiritual eye must be open. Because saints, there's some things we need to know. There's some things we need to know. There's some things that we need to do 
But we are not doing it because we don't know. Because our spiritual eyes is not yet open. From today on, in the name that is above every name, from today on, as we partake, as you partake with me, and you do it the right way, and you continue to do it the right way, there are impartations. That's what Jesus did to the disciples. He, gave them, he didn't even give them the cup. Because every, uh, the body, the, the, his flesh has its own power, and his blood has its own power. Yes. Hallelujah. If you want cleansing, it's the blood. That's it. Hallelujah. Divine blood transfusion is the blood. To clean, to cleanse your bloodstream. Ah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. To heal any form of diseases. Hallelujah yes. to the Lamb of God. I'm trusting God for a great miracle today. I'm trusting God as you partake of the cup. It will go into your bloodstream. The blood of Jesus will go into your bloodstream. Yes. And clean your blood. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Every blood disease, every blood infirmity will be healed today as we partake of the bread and of the cup. So number six, divine revelational knowledge. Divine revelational knowledge. That's number six provision or impartation in the Lord's Supper. Jesus. And you will receive it today. Some of you will receive it today. Even I hear about the Spirit, somebody have been praying. Oh, I see about seven people have been praying for revelation. Say they've been praying for direction. You will receive that today in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go to number seven. Let's go to number seven. Let's go to number seven. John 6, 58. John 6, 58. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Mighty God, we thank you for impartation today. Yes. Lord, we thank you for provision. Yes, provision in the Lord's Supper. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, for manifestation. Even that will happen today. Mighty God, I bless you. I just thank you, Lord God. Mm. I give you praise. I give you my glory. God, I'm God. thanking God for what God's about to do in your life. I thank God for revelation knowledge. I thank God for the gift that you're going to impart to your people. I thank God for healing. Oh, 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 blood issue. Blood issue. Blood issue that will be healed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Not one, not two, not three. I've seen many. I've seen many that God is about to do today. Hallelujah. As we partake by faith, we receive by faith. And it's a done deal in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, I feel an anointing. Glory to God. Oh, there's power in the flesh. There's power in his blood. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let's go to John 6. John 6, 58. John 6, 58. Father, we thank you. We thank you for miracle today. We thank you for healing today. Mm. We thank you, Father God. You are, you are doing something with blood strip today. Anybody that have blood disease uh, or That's blood true. disorder. Yes. Oh, I hear it. It's yes. clear in the spirit. Uh, you better tell somebody to join us. Get their bread and get their communion. If you know anyone that needs healing in their blood, God is doing that today. That's very strong uh, in this spirit. It's very strong in this spirit. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Woo, we thank you. Let's go to John 6, 58. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, I exhort you. Thank you for your power. Power in the flesh. John 6, 58. He said, this is the bread which came down from heaven. <laughs> it's the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your father ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. Mm. He who eats this bread, he's talking about his body, his bread will live forever. Number seven, dominion over death. Jesus. Dominion over death. That means you have a long life license. You don't even know it. Long life license. You will not die. You live forever. You can just move from one place to another. It's like moving from Silver Spring to Upper Marlboro. Or moving from Upper Marlboro to Silver Spring. Or moving from Silver Spring to Hollywood. You are moving from one place to another. Yes, because you partake of the bread and of the cup. Dominion over death. Long life. Life. 
life said, live forever. And that's what Jesus says. He said, this is my bread, which came down from heaven. Not as your father ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread, he who eat this bread, live forever. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is alive. Jesus said, I live because of my father. And if you eat this bread and drink this cup, you will live because of me. Glory to God. Yes, Dominion over death. Let's move quick. Let's move quick. Number eight. Number eight. I'll just go quick. It's the same scripture now. It came to pass as he sat at the table with them. He sat at the table with them that he took the bread, blessed and broke it. And he gave it to them. Their eyes were open and they knew him. And he vanished from them. Let's go to Ephesians 1.18. Ephesians 1.18 says, The eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That's what happened. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the same. Colossians 1.9 For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with, this, with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Number seven is mental excellence. Mental excellence. It also is spirit of understanding. Spirit of understanding. As you partake of the bread and partake of the cup, your eyes will open, your mental excellence. Glory to God. You can think straight. Oh, glory to God. Not only that, you can understand mysteries. Glory to God. Spiritual understanding like Daniel. Daniel can solve any mystery. He has a gift from God. And it's a gift of the spirit of understanding. He understands every mystery and he can solve every mystery. Glory to God. When you eat the bread today, hallelujah, your eyes is going to be open. You're going to have mental excellence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you used to be forgetting stuff every minute, when, you, when, when you, they tell you something, you forget. After the day, you partake of the bread. Hallelujah. You're going to have a what? A mental excellence. You won't forget anymore. Glory to God. Also, you have spirit of understanding to be able to understand mystery, to be able to solve mystery, to be able to in I feel like preaching. Glory to God. Glory to God. To be able, able to interpret dreams in the name of Jesus. I want you to partake this today in the mighty name of Jesus by faith and be expectant. Be expectant to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you can take spiritual thing, the food and you don't get no impartation. And you don't receive spiritual impartation. Yeah. As you partake of this today, yeah. Yeah. hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Your eyes will open. You have mental excellence. You will not be forgetful anymore the way you used to be. Hallelujah. You are spirit of understanding. Spirit of revelation. Spirit of wisdom. Somebody better shout, yeah. Oh, I feel that anointing. Number eight. I have two more. Two more. Jesus Father, we thank you. Mental excellence. I'm speaking to somebody right now. They always forget. Ha! Ah, they tell them something. Uh, two days, they forget it. In one hour, they forget it. When you partake of this today, you say, mental excellence. Glory to God. I also hear somebody, they can't, they, 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 they can't solve mystery. God, you're going to give you a gift today. There shall be an impartation today. Glory to God. Spirit of understanding. Spirit of revelation. Spirit of knowledge. And oh God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Father. I bless you, Jehovah. Let's go quick. Number nine. Father, we thank you. Psalms 103 verse 5. 
will satisfy your mouth with good things. Your mouth with good things. Bread is good things. His blood is good things. Spiritual food, spiritual drinks. Psalm 105, 103, 5. He said, Who we'll satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle? Number nine, youthful restoration. Youthful restoration. Divine health. Glory to God. Youthful restoration and divine health. Health. Glory to God. God is about to make you younger. Glory to God. Useful restoration. Sometimes sickness, sicknesses make us look old. God is about to heal you and restore your youth back to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Number 10. The last one. This is good. And then I'm finished. We're going to partake of the bread and of the cup and I'm trusting God for miracles. I'm trusting Jehovah for that everything that I've taught, those 10 impartations be given today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm trusting God. I don't need to lay hands on you. I don't need to do anything. No, 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 no. no. You don't need all of that. All you need to do, we're going to partake of the bread. I'm going to bless it in the name of Jesus. We're going to follow the step. Look backward. Look Upward, look inward, look around, and look forward. When we do that, hallelujah, I want you to gather your family, gather your children. We're going to partake together. Even some of your children that are struggling in school, they're going to have mental excellence. Oh God, the anointing to excel will fall upon them today as they partake. And they know the purposes, and they know the principle. They will receive the provision. Hallelujah. How do you want to receive the provision when you don't understand the purpose? You don't know the principle. You must know the principle. You must know the purpose. You do it right. Forgive everyone around you. Examine yourself. Look backward. Look upward. Look forward. You will receive that provision in Jesus' mighty name. So number 10, and I'm done. This is good. There's going to be healing now. Let's go to 2 Kings. Oh, I want you to open with me, God's people. Let's go to 2 Kings chapter 4. There will be an inner healing in your body, inside your body. You will be healed today. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name that is above every name. Today. Today. Let's go to 2 Kings. I, I want us to read this together. 2 Kings 4. 38, 39, 40, 41. 2 Kings 4, 38 to 41. And Elisha returned to Gilgal. And there was a famine in the land. Now the son of the prophet was sitting before him. And he said to, this, to his servant, Put on a large pot. And boys too for the sons of the prophets. So one went out into the field to gather herbs and find a wild vine and gather from it a lap full of wild gods and came and sliced them into the pot of stew. Though they did not know what they were. They did not know what they were. Then they served it to the men to eat. Now it happened. As they were eating the stew. As they were eating the stew. That they cried out and said. Man of God. Hmm. There is death in the pot. There's what? Death in the pot, and they will not eat it. So he said, Then bring some flour. I'm going to ask you today, ah, what do they use to prepare bread? Flour. Is that, is that what they use? What do they use to prepare bread? Flour. So the man of God asked for what? Bring some flour. And he put it in. To the pot. I, I like 
you so much is that when there's a poison in a pot and they discover there's a poison in a pot, mm -hmm. the normal people will do, they get it of the food in the pot. That's right, that's right. But the matter of God say, ah, mm -mm. I'm not going to get it of the pot. My Lord. All I need, mercy. all I need is a flower. Mm. If I have a flower, I have bread. And if I have, who is the bread of life? Oh, God of heaven. Ah. You see, I need bread. I need flour. Even if you don't have the bread, just give me what is used to make bread. Oh. He took the flour and put it in the pot and served it to the people. Mm -hmm. And, they, and, and, and they, they may eat. And there was nothing harmful in the pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, God of heaven. Today, I don't know what poison is in your body? Jeez. I don't know what cell in your body that is dying. I don't know what sickness is in your body. Jesus. I don't know what's making you look older today. But today, hallelujah, when you take the bread, Jesus. hallelujah, this is the flesh, is the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. No, we're not going to get you of you. It's not time yet. You're not going to die. It's not time yet. All you need to do is to take the bread. Mm. Put the bread into your body. Every sicknesses, every disease, every poison, anything in your body, even your cells, organ that is dying, they are coming back alive. In the name of Jesus Christ, you need the bread. This is the bread. Imagine, that was a flower. How much more? Glory to God. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you partake of the bread. Anything inside of you. Illegal. Whatever it is inside your body. That's not supposed to be there. As you partake of the bread. As you partake of the spiritual food. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It will take dominion over sickness. It will take dominion over disease. It will take dominion over pain. Mm -hmm. It will take dominion over poison. It will take dominion over spirit. Any spirit. That's not supposed to be there. As you partake oh, 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 oh. of the bread, you will begin to vomit. It must go. It okay. must go in the name of Jesus. These are the impartations. Glory to God. The provisions in the bread. The provision in the blood. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. I feel an anointing. Jesus. I feel an anointing mm. here today. As you partake of the bread. Yes. The power in the bread. Yes. As you partake of the cup, power the, the power in the cup, glory yeah. to God, Jesus. you will be healed. You will be delivered. Yeah. Every poison in your body hey. that wants to destroy your body. Ah, the, this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ah, as you partake of the bread, cancer. healing will come. Mm. Even cancer, poison. that cancer in your body. Oh Lord, we won't get rid of you. We will get rid of the cancer. Right. As you partake of the bread, it will destroy every cancer. It will destroy every disease. It will destroy every infirmity. Whatever it is that wants to destroy the temple of the Holy Ghost. When we take the bread, glory to God. Whoa, Jesus. Glory to God. I like what Elisha did. Yes. He didn't get rid of the pot. Mm -hmm. He didn't get rid of the food. Mm. What he did, I need a flower. Mm. I need a flower. Mm. He put the flower in the poison. Mm, some flower, that's right. Some As he put flower. the flower mm. in the poison, and they ate it. Ooh, Jesus. And nothing. Poison disappeared. That's right. As you partake of the bread. Poison in your body. Poison in your body. Will disappear. Poison your blood. Whatever's making you sleepy, I just got that. Somebody always sleepy. Time to walk, they are sleepy. Oh. They get up, they are sleepy. Jesus. Sleep, 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 sleep. I should partake of the bread today. Whatever it is in your body must vanish. Amen. Must disappear. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I feel an anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let's take the bread. Let's anoint it. Let's take the bread wherever you are. I'm going to wait for you. That's right. As the Bible says, yes. tidy for one another. Mm -hmm. Let's take the bread. Yes. Let's take the cup. Yes. I see some people are gathering their bread. I'm going to wait. The Bible says wait for one another. We're not going to rush. 
We're going to take our time. We're going to partake and watch and see. Watch and see what my God will do. Hallelujah. You cannot take spiritual food. And spiritual food don't have dominion over unspiritual things in your body. I love God like I did. Hallelujah. I love it. Yes. He didn't get it mm -hmm. of the pot. Mm -hmm. He didn't get it of the food. Give me some flour. Give me some flour. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what you need. You need the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. I don't know. I don't care what kind of sickness is. You are going to, you have it. I don't know. It doesn't matter how long you've been going through That's it. Right. I need some bread. I need the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. I need the bread that came from heaven. I need that spiritual food. Jesus. That's what you need to bring forth your deliverance, to bring forth your healing, to bring forth impartation. Even blood, if you have blood issue, glory to God. As we partake of the cup, it's going straight in your vein, the blood of Jesus into your vein. Divine blood of Jesus. Your DNA is about to change today. Jesus. <laughs> your DNA is about to change. Not the DNA from your father, not the DNA from your mother, but the DNA from God. DNA from Jesus. Victorious DNA. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Overcoming DNA. Glory to God. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's get the bread. Ah, uh, Prophet Masha, join me here. We're going to partake of the bread. We are waiting. We are waiting. I'm going to wait for you. This is powerful. They are provisions. Mm. They are impartation. Mm. As I've given you the ten impartations. Mm. There are seven, ten impartations that I give you today. The last one, number ten, mm. is destruction of poison in your body. Mm. Whatever is in your body, as you partake of the bread, yes. flour. Elisha has for flour. Yes. <laughs> Wow. Flour mm. and he put it in the pot. Yes. And they ate. Mm. You know, there's somebody with some somebody has been believing God there for, for, for a, a child. <laughs> somebody has a chromosomal chromosomal issue, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh maybe they're born with an extra chromosome or something, but mm -hmm. God says, Watch out over for the, watch out for that child. Hey, because to, after today, let them partake. Of this, because you've been believing me for a long time for so healing of this child, Rebosha, and the Lord says, "Watch out, Father, my God." You. Over the next uh, few weeks, you will see a total and complete you, healing. Jesus. The doctors won't be able to explain it. Thank you, Jesus. The doctors won't be able to explain it. You need the bread. Mm, Lord <laughs> God, the bread, the bread that came down from heaven, the flesh that came down from mm. heaven. It's going to your body. Yes. It's going to heal every Glory sickness. To God. Your cell that is dying. Mm. Come back alive. Mm. Come even, back alive. Mm, even autism. Lord Lord I'm waiting. I'm going to wait for you. The Bible says we should wait for mm. one another. Mm. Get your bread. Yes. I'm going to bless it. Yes. Then we're going to partake. Before I bless it, we're going to look backward. Lord Remember? God. Every time we partake, we look backward. Mm -hmm. The purpose is to, to look backward. Mm -hmm. To look upward, mm -hmm. to look inward, to look around, Oof. and to look forward. Mm. Five purposes. We're going to partake. We're going to do it right mm. today. And there will be an impartation. Mm. There will be healing. Yes. There will mm. be miracle. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Mm. That's it. That's correct. Whatever it is. That's it. That's correct. As you partake, this is a flesh that mm. comes down from heaven. Mm. Do we have our bread? Jesus. Let's take the bread. Before we partake of the bread, mm -hmm. let's look backward. Mm -hmm. We we'll look backward to the death mm -hmm. of our Lord Jesus Christ for our redemption. Oh, Rasanda. We we'll look backward to mm -hmm. all the areas yeah. Jesus shed his, his blood. blood. The suffering of Christ. Oh, glory to God. The bruises he took, yes, his Lord. hands, his legs. Oof. His heart was pierced. Mm. The bruises on his body. Mm. Let's look backward. You see, as often as you do this, you That's do this in remembrance of him. Lord mm. Jesus will remember, Lord. Mm. Even the time that we are here, we are in right now all over the world, we need to look back to the cross. Mm. Jesus. We need to look back and see what Jesus did for us oh. on the cross. We need to remember. Oh, God. 
And as you remember him, he will remember you. He will not allow the destruction, destruction to come into your house. It will pass over in the name of Jesus. So let's look backwards. Mm -hmm. Now let's look upward and thank Jehovah God for sending the sacrificial lamb of God without blemish. Father, we thank you and we bless you for sending Jesus that all my can see sin and you came to mm. die for us. Yes. We thank you, Lord. Yes. After we look upward and we thank God, yeah. then let's look inward. Mm. Let us examine ourselves. Every unconfessed sin, mm -hmm. let us confess before we partake. Yes. This this is one of the reasons we don't receive impartation. Mm. Because of sins. Let's ask for forgiveness yes, of sin. Yes, yes. Every unconfessed sin, let's confess it now. The Bible says, wait. We're going to wait because I want results. And there will be I results. want impartation. He has begun already. Has begun. Impartation Glory for you God. to receive. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let's confess. Yes. First John 1 9 says, mm. if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just. To forgive us our sin and, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. unrighteousness. Let's forgive. Amen. Amen. Let's forgive. Let's yes. examine ourselves. Yes. And let's amend our ways. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's amend our ways. Amen. 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 Towards the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Then the fourth one. Let's yes. look around, around us. us. Mm. Do you have anything hard against anyone? Yes. Has anyone offended you? Have yes. you forgiven everyone yes. around you? Yes. Your wife, your husband, your mm. children, yes. whoever it is, friend, co-worker. We have to forgive. We look around and we see us, see brethren as one body, yes. one bread mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Amen. We can partake with malice. We can partake with unforgiveness. You cannot receive it. Amen. You have to let it go. I don't know, maybe I should come with her. After this, come with a teaching on forgiveness of sin. Mm. It's another big one. Yes. Hmm. Go with it. Amen. Go with it. And the fifth one, let's look forward. Mm. To his return. Amen. Glory Father, I bless the bread and I bless the cup in the name of Jesus all over the globe. Yes. Whoever is viewing Glory right now God. or listening to us, mm. that this will not be ordinary bread, but it will be a spiritual bread. Spiritual bread in the name of Jesus. As I pray this prayer by faith, I believe and I know you are able. I thank you, Lord, you answer my prayer. Many times you've healed, you deliver, you've set free when I pray. Mm. And I'm asking you today mm. to do the same. Yes, Lord. To turn this bread to the body, to the flesh of Jesus. Yes, Lord. That this will not be an ordinary bread. Mm -mm. It will be ah. spiritual bread. Glory. Because when Elisha Ooh. asked for the flour, Ooh. when he poured it there, it was not ordinary flour. Ooh. It was spiritual bread. Mm. It was the body of Jesus Christ that was not yet to come down. Yeah. That's why he put bread. Amen. That's why he put flour. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, Father, we ask you, yes, God. turn it. Whoa. As they partake, even the same way that Jesus took the bread and gave the disciples, they yes. could not recognize him. Mm. The moment they partake of the bread, mm. their eyes open. Mm. Divine knowledge. That's it. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Yes. We thank you. We thank you. Mm. As we partake of spiritual bread, your body, in Jesus' name. Yes, Let's man. partake. Mm. So, Father, as we partake of the cup, this is spiritual yes. drink. It's a divine blood transfusion. And you told me that as many partake, those that have high blood oh, pressure, low blood pressure, diabetes, any Whatever. blood issue, That's it. as they partake of the spiritual mm -hmm. blood of Jesus, let it go straight into their veins. 
and let it cleanse, purify. Because the reason why you shed your blood is really to purify us, to cleanse us in those seven areas. As the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, that in the old covenant, almost everything is purified mm -hmm. by the blood. Mm -hmm. And without the shedding of the blood, mm -hmm. there's no the remission, remission of, of sin. sin. We thank you, Lord, for your blood. Yes. As we partake, let it go into our bloodstreams. Let it cleanse it. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 The Bible says, as often as we do this, Glory. we do this mm. in remembrance. Mm. Of him. Wow. Remember. The purposes. Mm. Look back. Upward. Mm. Inward. Around. Jesus. And forward. My God. The miracles has begun. God bless my you. God, my God. There's someone who is the person is a very brittle diabetic. And when I say brit uh, br uh, brittle meant to say uh well brittle diabetic, yes. But they're also somebody who's a, an uncontrollable, uncontrollable blood pressure. I'm, I'm under the anointing right now. And God says, right now, right now, you're, you're going to feel something yes. going through your body. God says, yes. I'm healing you right this minute. Yes. Right this minute, yes. I'm healing you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. The miracle has begun. Whoa. Mm. He has begun. Mm. Mm, 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 he has begun. Mm, 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 mm. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Might Hallelujah. God bless you. Can yes, you just bless you for a few minutes? Amen. Father, we thank you. So Glory begin to thank you. Yes. So just begin to bless you. Amen. We thank you, the Amen. Lamb of God. We Amen. thank you, Father, for yes, sending Lord, the Lamb of God. Glory. We bless you. He's Amen. doing it. He's doing it. He's working yes, through us. Yes, He's yes. working. He's working. He's working. Mm. We just thank you. Mm -hmm. We bless you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We shall back you. Yes, Lord. King of kings. Yes, Lord. Lord of lords. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the miracle. Yes. Thank you for the provision yes, Lord. in the Lord's supper. Yes, Lord. Thank you for impartation. Yes, Lord. That is happening right now. Yes. Spiritual impartation. Yes. I thank you, Lord God. Mm, thank you, I bless Jesus. you, Lord God. We exhort you, Lord God. Mm. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Um, lastly, there's someone who's been feeling weak. They've been kind of feeling weak. They don't know what's going on with them. And God says, you are going to be, you, there's going to be a, a total turnaround. And there was some issue going on in your body. And this is going to, you're going to feel your strength. You're going to come back Amen. to your strength. Your strength will be renewed. Amen. 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 When you begin to get your miracle, but now during the week, you know, sometimes God do it right away. Sometimes it's progressive. Yes. Just text 301 440 Two zero two five. So we're going to be sharing testimony on Friday. Amen. We're going to be sharing testimony on Friday. Mm -hmm. Just text it in. Don't wait till Friday. Text it in so we can have it yes. and begin to share it. Glory the Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. By the word of our testimony. Amen. 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 Wow. What Praise a powerful Lord. word. Oh my God. Wow. Amen. Glory to God. Did, did, any, did anybody feel that the, the tangible is so tangible? Glory to God. Giving honor and glory to God thank and thanking uh, 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 God for using the thank man of God, God my husband. Glory. glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. To glory to your name, God. There's power. There is power. There is power. Power, power. power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. My, 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 Thank my, you my. Thank the Lamb of God. Oh. Thanks to the Lamb of God. My God, my God. Mm. Cause of the day, just, mm. just thank him. Just mm. thank him. Yes. Just thank him. Yes. He's working in you. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, Glory to, God. to God. Just thank him. Yes. Just bless him. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Ooh, oh, I, I, I see that. Mm. Mental excellence. Yes. Mental excellence. Amen. Amen. Mental Amen. excellence. Mm. Spirit of understanding. Mm. Divine Revenue. knowledge. Mm. Divine knowledge. Amen. There's some things you need to know now. Amen. Revelational knowledge. Amen. Knowledge is for now. Mm. I see it. God's revealing it. Glory, Glory to, to God. God. Mm. Father, we thank Whoa. you. Ooh. Mental mm. excellence. Mental excellence. Mm. We thank you. Wow. There's a power mm. surge that just hit mm. somebody. Like yeah. it felt a surge yeah. going through them. Going just 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 it, the only way I can try just hit them. Glory it's to God. Impartation. That's it. <laughs> Holy That's Ghost, impartation. just, just visited you. Feel heat on mm -hmm. your body. Mm -hmm. That's impartation. Yes. Glory, Glory to God. God. Amen. Father, we thank Ooh, you. My Lord, my Lord. Ooh, yes. 